Hey everyone, I'm Eric Kimball. I'm out here in my garden on this beautiful early summer morning to uh, work on my potato mounds, my pre-industrial or peasant potato plantings here, which I've discussed in previous videos. And uh, I'm hoeing the soil. I have been cultivating the soil in this project here with my wheel hoe, but now I'm using a regular hoe like this right here. Someone asked me, uh, in a previous video, one of the questions was, where can I get a good quality hoe? And there's different places, but uh, this is a DeWitt hoe, and DeWitt makes good tools. So there's one source. I've got a couple of DeWitt hoes, and these hoes are particularly nice uh, because, for one thing, they have a long handle, okay? A long handle means you don't have to bend over when you're hoeing. So that makes this a, a very desirable hoe to use. And I have used the wheel hoe up until now, and now I'm using the hand hoe. And what I have here is a dust mulch, basically, and I'll show you that. And a dust mulch is a very effective way of preserving moisture in your soil. Now, it has been dry. The, the soil is dry, the ground is dry, there are people who are concerned about their gardens and watering their gardens here. In, I'm in upstate New York. And uh, in fact, yesterday in church, someone said, we need to pray for rain because my garden's suffering. And that's good, we should, we could use some rain, but my garden is not suffering here. Uh, the garden is, uh, it, could, it would perhaps do better with rain, but it's not suffering. And I'll show you why in a moment. But um, this potato patch here, if you've watched the previous videos, is my pre-industrial potato planting technique, or the peasant mounds. Very quickly, I planted four potato seeds around a uh, small stake, and these stakes were four foot apart. So I have a row, two rows actually, of these mounds. Space four foot apart, four potato seeds in each one. And man, they're doing so good. It's just so satisfying. Gardening isn't always satisfying, but this experiment thus far is very satisfying. And I'll tell you something amazing. I mentioned this in the previous video. I have not seen any potato beetles, no Colorado potato beetles, none, zero, zip. I can't explain it, but I'm very thankful for it. Uh, thank God. I thank God for no Colorado potato beetles in my garden this year. It's, it's, it's like a first. I don't get it, but I'm glad for it. And the potatoes are in blossom. I'm gonna show you a few of the plants here. They're all looking so fantastic. And I wanna show you how I'm cultivating here. As I mentioned in a previous video, these plants are gonna get so tall and lush that at some point they're, the foliage, the stems, the leaves are gonna flop over, okay? And then I won't be able to hoe the soil, cultivate the soil. And so I wanna get in here now again and do that before that happens. So the more I can cultivate before these uh, plants uh, fall over, that the better, okay? And I'm doing it with the hoe, and it's almost as fast as a wheel hoe. So with this long-handled hoe and my back straight, I can just slide this hoe, and there's the end of it for you to see. It's not a big hoe. I'm not chopping. Since I have kept this soil cultivated, on a regular basis, it's very easy to just slide that. And you can't see it probably, but there's little weeds here. And we just slide underneath and disturb them enough to kill them. Now I'm not doing anything on the mounds yet, but I can zip right on down through here very quickly. If I had let these weeds grow up and get above the soil and get rooted, oh, this would be such a chore. But as it is, it's not a chore. It's ridiculously simple to do this. Okay, so I go right down the row uh, on one side and then down the other side and I'll get these cultivated. And I'm actually over cultivating here as I show you this because I'm running my mouth and I wanna keep moving. So I wanna cultivate also on these, these hills and because there's weeds starting to root there and there's one, little one right there. I don't want them to get a foothold. So I'm going to go down the row on my hands and knees, and I'm just gonna, uh, maybe we could say massage the, the hill, the soil there, the crumbly soil, that nice soft soil underneath which those potatoes are going to form. There you can see an overview of the two rows, 
And these are almost up to my waist in height. And you can see blossoms here. Got white blossoms here. And over in this row, we've got some pink blossoms. Now the blossoms mean that, here we've got some better ones over here. Two different varieties. These blossoms are an indication that potatoes are forming. And they're going to form very uh, well without a lot of uh, problem in that uh, mound of soft soil. The potatoes form over the seed potatoes on top of that in that soft soil that's mounded up. Now these here have not uh, blossomed yet. Man, they're huge. They are, this is literally past my waist in height. All right. Now let me tell you about the dust mulch. A dust mulch is just a layer, an inch or so of dry soil on top of soil that is not dry. And that is a very effective mulch. Now in my mini bed garden, I have a permanent black plastic uh, silage tarp down for mulch. And I like to put a natural mulch in the beds. But here in this uh, situation, I'm doing something that's a little bit more traditional, which is to use a dust mulch. Now see as I get down, not even an inch, just less than an inch, under where I've hoed previously, you can see the soil is moist. You see that? It's moist. It has moisture in it. These plants don't lack for moisture. There's abundant moisture down there. And with a five foot wide cultivated and dust mulched uh, uh, space here for these, for these mounds, um, there's lots of root space. No weed competition trying to suck up those nutrients and water. There's grass over here, yes, but five foot wide, lots of root space. And in the midst of this dry uh, period that we're having, down here, just an inch under the soil, we have damp soil. And that will stay damp because here in the Northeast and most of the Eastern half of the United States, there is capillary uh, soil moisture continually uh, feeding up through the soil. So there's no, it's no big deal that we're having a dry spell, especially if you've got a well weeded area and a dust mulch, okay? And that's, that's a big deal, that's a big deal. So I just wanna show that to you, give you this progress report, and thank you very much for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next one.